What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're taking a quick look at the new Keyshot Dock Connector for Frontify and seeing how we can use the connector to quickly share assets from Dock to the Frontify platform. Let's start by taking a look at the assets that are already currently available on my Frontify system. So in order to make an asset available in Frontify from Dock, we'll go back to Keyshot Dock. And if I want to publish, for instance, this amplifier, I first need to make sure that the asset is approved, which you can see that it has been approved under the status section. Now we can just publish to our Frontify channel by selecting Frontify through the list here. And if I just hit save after changing the publish to section, I can then go to my Frontify and do a refresh. And in a moment or two, I should see my amplifier asset appear. And there it is. Under our metadata tab, you can see more detail about the asset that has been pushed over from Dock. And due to the fact that the asset is now linked to Frontify, if I go back to Dock and I make a change, let's say I made a mistake in the title and I need to adjust it, I make my change in Dock and hit save. A quick refresh of Frontify and we should see that the asset has been automatically updated, which we can under the metadata. Having the asset linked ensures that any changes made to the asset in Dock will be reflected immediately in Frontify. However, if I no longer need that asset in my Frontify connector, I can go in and I can remove that channel from the Publish To field of the Dock. Hit Save, and after a quick refresh of Frontify, we can see that the asset is no longer available in Frontify. Keep on the lookout for upcoming Keyshot Dock tips, and as always, thanks for joining us, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.